What does Chica's voice box mean? A scrap ending? Just a silly little Easter egg? I don't think so. And I'm pretty sure I have the answer of Chica's voice box. Well, I have your answers right here. So let's headbutt right into the theory. Oh boy, Twitter's not gonna like this theory. In Ruin, if you do Chica's Feeding Frenzy, you are able to unlock her voice box. Now, after completing the saloon level, you can return Chica's voice box to her, which in result plays an interesting scene. Take a look. Now, what could this mean? Well, see how we gave her something and the trash bag fell out of her stomach? What am I considering? Well, something about this and the rest of the events in game remind me of the happiest day minigame in FNAF 3. Yes, I am drawing parallels. Deal with it. And I have proof to back up my claims. In game, we have the Pat Pats and when you walk up to them, you can hear a faint ghostly cry in the game. Take a listen. It's an interesting decision to do this. Why would they make the caution bots have a faint ghostly cry? And if you look in the game using a menu, it says caution bot souls. Hmm, interesting, right? Souls, possession. I think I'm onto something here. Now, really quick, let's push away from the Chica side of things and move on to Monty. In game, when you do the platform jump and open the door, Monty tries to jump at you, but last second, he gets turned into fried alligator by a Bonnie sign. Interesting, right? This kills Monty, and maybe if this is true, Monty got a sweet good old karma on him after he killed Bonnie. That's a whole nother theory about if Monty killed Bonnie. Now, let's go to our cute little devil bastards, the Pat Pats. Totally didn't give me an issue all game. Now, when you free all of them, it unlocks a secret area in Bonnie Bowl in Chapter 7. And if you look at his eyes, they match the same color as the Pat Pats. But when you deactivate all the Pat Pats, their eyes will no longer glow. Now, why does this remind me of the Happiest Day minigame? Because when you go to deactivate Roxy, the final node, it says in the pause menu, Happy Birthday Cassie. Happy Birthday? Letting souls free? Again, Happiest Day minigame is really hitting me here. Now again, this is FNAF after all. So it'd be totally normal for souls to be possessing animatronics or robotic parts. So what can we take away from this video? Well, what we can take away is simple. Animatronic possession is still in current day FNAF in my eyes. And that's because of the blob or tangle, whatever you want to call it. I mean, honestly, it's just an amalgamation of souls. I'm thinking caused by the mimic, while I think Charlie and all the other past characters are dead. And other theorists on Twitter have pointed this out that this could be just the teen spotties that the Mimic was piling up. Now, I do think all the past characters are dead. This is a new era of FNAF. Just history is repeating itself, but with a new set of characters. Anyway, I want to say happy ninth birthday FNAF. I'll be live streaming later today, so come on by and watch. Anyway, subscribe, leave a like, and I'll catch you on the flip side. Bye bye for now.